Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video I will share how I speed up audio files using an iOS app called Audipo. So I think this is my third video on speeding up the playback of videos or audiobooks. What can I say? I prefer to listen to things at about one and a half speed generally. Recently I've been working a lot with audiophiles since many of the trainings that I've been doing offer only the options of listening to the training in a browser or downloading the audio. Both of these options are problematic for me. Listening in the browser is annoying since the sound doesn't always continue when you switch away from the browser and the controls are teeny tiny and awkward. Downloading the audio file means that I can switch to another app while it's playing, but I have almost no controls in the standard iOS audio player. <clears throat> There's not even a way to fast forward or rewind, let alone change the playback speed. So I went looking for an app to download that would allow me to speed up the playback, and I found the free Audipo app. So first things first, how do you get audio files into the app? Well, for the most part, I'm downloading them from a browser. So after I download the audio file, I can hit this icon up here to see the most recent files that have been downloaded. If I downloaded the file a while ago, I can find the files again by going into the Files app, and I should be able to find it in Recent or Downloads. Now I open the file and hit the Share button. You can see that Audipo comes up right away for this type of file, but you may need to add it to your share sheet after you install the app. To do this, scroll all the way over to the right and hit More. Hit Edit, find Audipo in your list, and press the plus sign to add it to your share sheet. Now you can choose that app and hit Save. I'm not sure why it doesn't automatically take me to the app, but go into the app and select the file that you want to listen to. If your screen doesn't look like this, you can find imported or copied files by going to Open, More, then Copied Files, and there they all are. So now that you have the audio file playing, you can hit this button here to change the speed to any of these preset speeds, but also you can fine tune it to a speed of your liking. In addition to this, there are some other nice controls. I like the long visual timeline that you can use for navigation, and you can drop bookmarks on the file by hitting this button. This button goes to the last bookmark, and this one goes to the next. This button deletes the last book bookmark. This button will take you to the next song or track, and this one will take you back. If you long press on this, it'll fast forward. Same thing with reverse. I honestly have no idea what this button does. Once you are in the play screen, you can hit the file name up here to navigate between files. The only thing I don't like about this app is that the free version doesn't save the spot where you left off, so it's kind of a hassle to have to pull the file back up and navigate back to where you stopped listening. I think the pro version for a whopping $5.49 per year keeps your spot for you, so I may upgrade at some point. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.